Hello guys, so this is Patro TV uh, again, so I'm gonna do another video <clears throat> as you guys like the first one I'm gonna show you what hard drive you can buy so of course uh, I'm using external hard drives for my system the only thing you have to bear in mind when you uh, buy external hard drives, they need a power plug, so you might need an extension lead for the external hard drives but they can run off USB so if you're running a laptop or a desktop that doesn't have many SATA connections you can run it off a USB so the most popular one is this one the Seagate uh, 9747 from CCA online so let's bring up our friend calculator here and if you look um, 6 terabytes so let's divide 6 terabytes I mean, not, let's say 947 by 6 terabytes, okay? It works out as 16 uh, pounds per terabyte. It's a, it's a good price. Uh, I have managed to find some good deals on eBay. This is one from the seller that I bought. It comes in different colors. It, of course, is a laptop hard drive. So you need to make sure that when you connect them to a computer, it's connected to a uh, hard drive, I mean, not to the hard drive, to the USB port. If you're going to use an extension, just make sure that the extension is powered through the plug. The reason for this is the regular extensions, USB, they will have enough power to accommodate one of those drives, but as soon as you connect, let's say, two or three, it will run short on the power and you might not even see them on the my computer this best way so if you we go to carries and we search for a usb hub um, of course typical thing that we don't find first time what we want but yeah so if we do the maths here 999 or a two terabyte Okay, nine ninety nine for two terabyte. It's four ninety nine ninety. Okay, the only good thing is that these probably are laptop hard drives. They will be a bit much slower than a regular full size desktop hard drive. But if you're doing a uh, chia, what I would recommend you to do once you finish your plots, you can always transfer them to that worst hard drive because when you look at it. Those hard drives, they are not used. They, the network uses it a little bit for verification, but that's about it. They are not used. They're not going to wear out. So these drives are going to be perfectly fine for storing the hard drive. And this is what you can use. This is the USB 2.0. Of course, it's a 2.0 uh, drive. It's not very good, people would say. But uh, you can see the transfer rate is up to 400 megabits per second. Mega megabits per second. So it is iffy. This is just uh, to make it look good. So you're looking at around 50 megabytes transfer. But it isn't that bad. Yeah, considering if you have, let's say, plotting. And you have them uh, writing each one of them. Or what you could do have is have all of the drives connected here the secondary drive and have the main drive connected directly to your USB so you have a uh, just you know big drive you can con uh, have all of the plots here and then just transfer over onto the drive there on an extension uh, you could probably find uh, USB 3.0 hub the only problem with them they will be very expensive you look around 35 50 pounds just to keep it as low as possible because uh, we don't know how, what's going to be the price of Chia but we grab this price the bargain in my opinion I normally do the math is like uh, 20 pounds for uh, terabytes so let's say I would estimate this 10, 6 times 20 so I would say 120 is a reasonable price for this drive and uh, yeah just keep an eye out for deals you could use a uh, SATA drive or SAS drive, SAS drive. Uh, 
in, some people sell it in bulk. Mm -hmm. The only thing you have to bear in mind that these drives are not designed for Windows PCs. They they are designed for servers. They are much faster in reading and writing, but they have a different connection. You will see that the power, which is here, and the data cable connection, they are all merged together. So you will need a PCIe SAS adapter. And it looks something like, where is it? Something like this, but you can get a uh, even different one. It looks so similar to this, uh, and you can run, I think my brother ordered one of, where is it, where is it? Oh, yeah, one of these one. No, this is not it. Either way, you need an adapter that uh, can understand the SAS drives because they are a bit different. They are designed for uh, servers. So here you've got connections, and typically that connection can output uh, power for four drives. So you will have a SATA cable coming out, and there's also a splitter which has the Molex power. So you can actually power up to Let's see, 16 drives. It's quite good. Either way, uh, yeah, so just keep an eye out. I think that would be the maximum price you would want to pay for a drive. 20 times the terabyte. Anything more than that, you overpay. But if you can get it cheaper, like I did, this listing is still up. You know, five, 10, 10 pounds for, uh, for the drive. And I'd say it's a great deal, it's a great deal. But just to make sure that you don't overspend for the drives. Yes, here we go to eBuyer, let's say, and we go for six terabyte drive. You're gonna have the drives, and we're looking for external 133. Oh, there's 98, but still, this is good that it has a USBs. So you, I have. Three of these, but eight terabytes, and you can connect them up. So 98, 42 is better. I'd say it's actually even better than the uh, CGA over here because this one doesn't have USBs. So let's say you buy four of those, so you have extra ports. You can even connect a hard drive to a hard drive. The only thing you have to bear in mind after having, let's say, four or five drives. You will notice the other drives are not coming up because Windows by default disables them. So what you have to do is go to Start, which is you right click the Start menu, Disk Management, and it's gonna load up. They're gonna be still connected, they're gonna be showing, but they're gonna be offline. So what you have to do, right click them and put them online. At the moment, these are all, all online, but when I uh, connected them. I was like wondering where are they? Where are the drives? I had them connected, and turns out Windows just has a specific amount that it puts online. Anything over that amount, you have to set up manually and turn it on manually. So yeah, this is the uh, tips that I would uh, use for looking out for hard drives. The same concept goes for external internal hard drives. But the only thing is, like if you look at this price per gigabyte. 17 uh like 1.7 cent i mean uh pence and if you go to external hard drives i mean internal hard drive hard picker and system builder and we go uh storage and now we're gonna go for price you start notice is 19 and or even 1.9 pence. That's for a terabyte, and that's the uh, prices are going up. So I would suggest to jump on these things while they are cheap, because later it's gonna be expensive. And this is one of the great deals. So always look out. Just be careful because these hard drives, okay, they they are actual hard drives. I spoke to the seller. 
but there are very similar listings that just include the enclosure so you might select blue and take it we won't select the size it may say four terabytes but in fact it will be just a box so let's uh, uh look let's just do a similar four terabytes okay there you go four terabytes portable case hard disk hd for laptop and we're gonna go into that and it turns out in the listing enclosure case so this is the most important thing you have to watch out for and then you can't see the other ones so if you want to have a, a listing the listing item number I'll include the link in the description if you want to buy some of them. There isn't many left. I bought like six of them. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Keep an eye out and uh, grab it while it's there because the price is going to rise very quickly. And just remember, leave a like. Uh, I'm going to plan to put more videos about Chia and how I'm getting on with my uh, plotting. And I will let you guys know more information. At the moment, I don't have any Chia one, but hopefully, once I plot my 70 terabytes of data, then I might be able to get some Chia. Thank you very much, and smash that like button. <laughs> and yeah, subscribe if you want, would like some more videos. Uh, that way, it will come up for you. And you, when you press the bell button they will show you the notification that i have uploaded a video anyways take care